Canada boasts of vast areas of coniferous forests that are lumbered or harvested annually. However, the Canadian government believes in sustainability of forests, so for every tree cut, the industry must plant two new tree seedlings. Men who carried out lumbering were traditionally called lumberjacks. The modern name for them is loggers. Lumbering is a difficult activity. Lumberjacks have to be daring and toil hard to get work done as most of the lumbering is done in the winter months. The first step in the process of lumbering is called felling, wherein the tree that is to be cut is identified and then cut or felled. The lumberjack who performs this task of felling the tree is called a high rigger. A high rigger equipped with slip resistant shoes, a safety belt and a power saw undertakes the most risky task of climbing the tall trees. He first chops the branches that come in his way as he climbs up. On reaching the top, he cuts the top of the tree. After the high rigger cuts down the tree, the tree is sawed or bucked into different sizes with a power saw. This is the second step and is known as limbing or cutting of the branches. The logs that are to be used in a sawmill are cut into 5 meters length while the logs that are to be used for making pulp are cut into smaller sizes of one meter each. The third step in the logging process is to move or skid the logs out of the forest to landing areas from where the logs can be transported to other areas. The task of skidding or hauling is made easy with the use of machines like skidders which are of many types. The fourth step is the process of transportation of logs also known as hauling. One of the most popular modes of transport is the river system. In winter the logs are placed on the frozen river. In summer the ice on the river surface melts and the logs float downstream. As the logs flow downstream, they sometimes pile up, causing log jams. In modern times, however, with the development of roads and other infrastructure, Trucks are used to transport the logs. Undoubtedly, the process of lumbering is not easy, but things have become much easier due to use of modern equipment, machines and automobiles.